Hello, it is Wednesday, July 31st, the last day of the month. Can you believe it? Well, after my cookie explosion yesterday, I got on my scale this morning. Just a second, I have to adjust my mirror here. Um, to my surprise, my scale was down. Now let's hope it doesn't. Those cookies don't show up again in a couple days. But I uh, made a point to walk an extra round last night and drink tons of water. I'm not going to do that to myself anymore because I just uh, I just felt so bad and bloated. And this morning I was still when I got up, I still felt really full you know and um, the old me wouldn't have cared about that but I don't like the way that feels now so I have good news and I have bad news so first the good news I'm on my way over to pick up the keys to my new place <laughs> so yay after today I can get in there and start doing stuff so uh, that's the good news now the other thing, not really bad news, but it's just an eye-opener. First of all, let me tell you, I have decided I am completely done with online dating. You know, I never felt comfortable with it in the first place. I gave it a try a couple times. Uh, the Mr. Cookout guy, as some of you called him, turned out to be a real jerk. Uh, so, blocked him out of my contacts even. He's not even able to contact me anymore and then I was communicating with this other person who seemed very nice sent me a picture even with his dog you know it's like come on so we were talking and he was telling me a little bit about his life and supposedly he was on this business trip going out of the country I mean everything he was telling me seemed legit and he was very kind very nice wrote beautiful words to me uh, something kind of didn't settle right because his language sometimes just seemed like this guy's not an American which I mean I have nothing against people who aren't Americans but just the way he talked is the way his grammar was so anyway thought, okay well let me see where this goes and we've been texting back and forth for a while so this morning he tells me that you know he told me yesterday he was taking this business trip to China and it all seemed legitimate he was gonna be working on an oil rig and stuff and and I know a little bit about the oil business just because you know my son's kind of connected with it not a lot though so he sends me a text this morning, he landed safely, but you know, he can't text because he left in such a hurry and didn't have time to get his international plan. Can you please go to Walmart and send me a gift card for $200? <laughs> so this is what Sue did. Block, delete. I did not even respond. At that point, I deleted him, deleted all the messages, blocked him off of my contact list so he can no longer contact me. Thought, what kind of idiot do you think I am? Well, I was idiot enough to talk to him, so, and to think that maybe there still are a few nice guys around. But I just decided this morning, that's it, I am done. You know, if God wants me to meet somebody, he's gonna bring him across my path, I can meet him in person and I will know that it is okay. But I am so done with online dating. I am done. I canceled my subscriptions, and uh, well, the one that I had, and I thought, no way, I'm not doing this again. I have more important things to do with my life, and you know, I'm just now starting to be happy again. I'm not gonna have a man confounded, and especially one like that. So, now I know there's some of you out there had good experiences with online dating but I'm telling you it's not for me so that was sort of my bad news and that, it's kind of laughable to think that I would actually do and I, I wonder how many other people this person is, this guy has scammed 
you know, and uh, where he's really located. I mean, he didn't even get to, I didn't even allow him uh, the chance to tell me where he really was. But, uh, I, you know, I did Google him because he told me where he was from and where he'd been for, that he'd lived this, you know, down in Finley, which is, you know, 45 minutes from here. Um, and uh, that he'd lived there for a long, long time and that his wife had died of the same illness that my husband had died from. And uh, so anyway, I Googled his name because, you, you know, if somebody's lived there for, you know, 30 years like he claimed he has, he, they're going to show up. Nothing. Nothing with that name. So I just Googled the last name and there were plenty of them with the last that last name, but not his name. So I Googled... Uh, obituaries with that last name nothing came up so anyway I kind of knew that he was a scammer but today I found out for sure so anyway I blocked him I deleted him uh, you know I can't really report him because the other thing was right after we had started talking with one another his profile disappeared off of the dating site and I asked him about it, and he said, well, that was because his subscription expired. And I thought, okay, but then I thought, no, that's not how that works. Your, your profile kind of stays up there until you yourself delete it. And uh, you, you're just not allowed all the access to things without a subscription. So, anyway... <laughs> So glad God gave me a brain and it works sometimes <laughs> if it would have been full gear I the flags would have gone up you know the flags were going up and I would have followed my instincts sooner so anyway I'm done with it no more online dating for me if God wants me to be with somebody he's gonna have to put him right in front of me so moving forward anyway like I said I'm on my way over to pick up the keys to my new place and I'm gonna go up there and look around a little bit just kind of get a, another idea of where I'm gonna put things when I start moving things in tomorrow morning I'm heading over to Eastern Ohio to pick up my blueberries and then I'm gonna take them right over to the refrigerator here so uh, she said the apartments pretty well cleaned which you know she didn't have to do that for me I would have done it but the guy that moved out had his mother come over and I guess mom cleaned everything. So, you know how us moms are. Anyway, uh, yeah, so things are moving along. And my son from Lima's coming up tonight and then he's coming back on Saturday uh, to move the big stuff. So the biggest thing is my bed because I have a big king size adjustable bed that uh, to tell you the truth, I can't wait to get back into. I mean, my son, my son here in Perrysburg has had it because I didn't want it in the storage unit. So he's been sleeping on it. He's sleeping on it right now. He came home from work early today, so I don't think he's feeling well. But uh, came home from work and went right to bed. So anyway, uh, and I asked him if he was okay. He said, yeah, he just went to bed. But anyway, I'm excited to get that bed over there and actually be able to sleep in a bed every night because since I've been, since I haven't had a place of my own, now I had a bed out at my daughter's place, but I like a softer mattress and her bed is very, very hard. And uh, so I slept on her bed mostly, sometimes the couch. Actually, her couch was a lot more comfortable than her bed. But since I've been back here, I've been sleeping on this itty bitty little love seat, which, you know, since I'm short, I fit on it. But still, the day, nights that my son is at home, I go sleep in the bed and it's so nice to have the bed. And my back feels so much better. Uh, my daughter says I sleep at a 90 degree angle, which not quite 90 degrees, maybe 60 degrees. <laughs> So, anyway, 
it's happening. I'm going to be moving this weekend, and uh, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure Saturday night. My plan is Saturday night will be the first night that I'm going to be in my new place. So maybe Friday night. We'll see. It depends on when I take the dog over, really. Um, I haven't decided when I'm going to take Molly over. I don't really want her over there while I'm moving everything in just you know because I don't want her getting out the road that I'm living on isn't super busy but people don't uh, observe speed limits out there it's out you know further out in the country or in more rural area I guess so um, I don't I don't want a chance for getting out on the road Oh, anyway, well, I've had breakfast so far. I'm, I have my standard eight points so far. So I'm going to show it to you, although I'm going to tell you it's the same thing I've been eating the last couple of days because, uh, like I have said all week, I don't want to grocery shop until I get settled or at least get in. So on Saturday night, since, you know, the youngins are going to be helping me move, I'll probably get some pizza because I won't be set up to cook them dinner and it'll be quick. So we'll either order it or just go get some. So there's a pizza in my future on Saturday. If we can find a pizza place where I can also get a salad, I may do that. So, all right, well, I am moving along here, so I will uh, talk to you later. I, like I said, I'll show you breakfast now. I, I'm going to try to eat some lunch because we all know what happened yesterday when I didn't eat dinner or lunch before I ate my dinner. And I don't want that fiasco again. To um, be honest with you, I'm probably going to stop at Subway and get a Subway salad, one of those rotisserie chicken salads again because, you know, they're filling and there's zero points. There's I wanted to tell you the other day and I forgot. There's zero points if you don't get the dressing on it or the cheese. I don't get either of those. I do usually get a scoop of their guacamole, which is two points because it's the amount that they put on the six-inch six inch sub. And um, I use that instead of the dressing. So, I mean, I could get dressing, but, you know, it... I think the dressing that comes in the packet there is like five points so I save a couple points but it's only zero points the rotisserie chicken is only salad anyway is only zero points if you don't get the dressing and you don't get the cheese so if you get cheese on it it's a whole uh, a whole other thing but um, like I said I don't I don't get that on it so I keep it at zero points anyway that's kind of my plan and not just talking about it, it's making me hungry for one uh, that's my plan I'm, uh, that I'll get so that I'm not famished. I, tur I pulled out a turkey patty for dinner, and I've got a couple more ears of corn, so I'm having the same dinner I had last night. And I weighed out the turkey patties before I froze them. So I weighed out four ounces. I think I have one that's a little slightly over four ounces, but I'll count it as four ounces. It's zero points anyway because it's 98% uh, fat-free or 98% lean ground turkey. But it just helps, you know, when I get my scale out and I weigh it before I package it up to put in the freezer because that way I don't have to worry about it. And, you know, it cooks up a little bit less, but since there's very little fat in it, you get just about the whole four ounces. Um, anyway, that's just a tip. And I do the same thing with uh, chicken breasts when I get one of those big packages of chicken breasts I break it down and I individually package them especially since you know I'm cooking for myself now and I'll I'll weigh it before I put it in the package and then I'll put it with a marker I'll put on the package how many ounces this is and I do that but you know chicken yes the chicken breast is zero points but I count the calories so um, I kind of like to weigh my chicken before I cook it and then I also like to weigh it after I cook it just to kind of see what the difference is because different chickens cook up differently. So, all right, well, this is my 14 minute spiel, so I'll get to showing you the food now. So I'll talk to you later.
All right, my standard grocery decimating <laughs> breakfast. Um, I have one slice of my multi grain bread for four points. I've got two points worth of butter on that, six grams. Uh, two eggs are zero points, and my 99 grams of apple, zero points. Two points in my coffee, so I have an eight point breakfast. And really, it's sort of brunch because it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm just now getting around to eating breakfast. Okay, well, I already ate half of this, but this is one of the Subway salads from, uh, or rotisserie chicken salad from Subway. I got double meat on here. So, I'm counting one point for the extra meat, and two points for the scoop of guacamole. So, three points here. Package of the baked glaze, which are four points. So I'm going to count seven points for my lunch, which takes me up to 15 points for the day. And I know I'm having a zero point dinner. Okay, just a quick wrap up for the day. Um, I had the same dinner tonight as I had last night four ounces of ground turkey breast and two ears of corn for zero points. Um, but I did snack on some almonds, and I'm thinking it was probably at least a cup of, of whole almonds. So I'm going to say I went way over points today. I put in a, a cup, and it took me to 34 points or something like that. So I'm in the negative 30 or 48 points for my weekly. So everything resets tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and weigh in anyway, because even though I'm expecting not such good news. Um, I have a busy day tomorrow, uh, so I'm going to start my moving tomorrow, so uh, I guess it's going to be a busy day. Next week's going to be better. I'm not, it's, it's just going to be better. So I'm kind of thinking maybe my body needed some, needed something and that's why I was craving some things that I haven't craved for a while. I don't know but anyway I showed you what I had for breakfast and lunch I did not um, video my dinner and it was late when I ate um, just got back from a walk with the dog and I'm gonna call it a night because I have an early morning ahead of me so you guys have a great night I will be back tomorrow every all my points reset tomorrow so it's gonna be better next week's gonna be much much better so good night